topics today we, are, we will be studying the algorithm for the OSK exam about the scenario asystole or pulseless electrical activity. So, firstly you need to wear gloves before the assessment to the patient. Then you check in the patient positioning and the check in the placement of the patient. Patient must, must be placed on the flat uh, surface and with no harms for you. Then you uh, trying to check the patient's consciousness, breathing and uh, circulation. How you checking the consciousness? You uh, patting the patient on the, sh on the shoulders and asking, how are you? What's happened? Do you hear me? Patient unresponsible, so he got uh, he is unconscious. Then you're performing the checking of the breathing. You're performing the triple safar maneuver, the extension of the neck the opening uh, of the lower jaw and the opening of the mouth and then checking the movement of the chest feeling the air with your cheek and uh, hearing the breathing sounds normally in 10 seconds patient need to do two movements this patient won't do this also when you're checking the Reason you check in the carotid pulse, pulse on the main arteries, pulse is absent. So then you proceeding with the uh, CPR, you're performing the compressions. Compression will be, uh, uh, you need to do compression on two fingers higher than the xiphoid processes, then you put in your dominant arm, the basic of the palm, and starting the compressions. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, and you're performing two breathe ins. Breathe in should be no more than six, eight seconds long, and then you're again performing the compressions. Compressions for five, six centimeters depth and for 32 two breaths ratio, and 100, 120 compressions per minute. Two breathe ins. And once more the compressions. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more breathe ins. After two minutes or five, six cycles, we got the fifth cycle. Eight, nine, ten, and two breathings. You evaluating the patient condition, checking the breathing, the conscious, and the pulse. Breathing is absent. Then you're asking the nurse to inject one milligram of epinephrine intravenously with uh, uh, every three, five minutes. And then you're asking the uh, staff to perform the to perform the ECG of the patient. Then you evaluating the rhythm of the patient. If you're not asking about the ECG, you won't be provided with the ECG sheet. On the ECG sheet, you see in asystole or pulseless electrical activity, uh, verbalizing it, and then produ uh, produce, uh, then starting again with the CPR. If you don't know what disturbance you got on the ECG, it's better to proceed with the CPR. Eight, nine, ten. Two breathe ins. After signal, one minute left. You need to perform one more CPR cycle. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two breathe in. Then re-evaluate patient, patient's condition. So, got no pulse on carotid artery, got no breathing. And then to verbalize uh, causes, possible causes of the uh, cardiac arrest. It will be on the rule 40, 4H. 4H will be hypovolemia, hypotension, hypothermia, hypo, hyperkalemia. And for 
and uh, hypoxemia and for the 40s it will be hypotension uh, it will be tension pneumothorax uh, then toxicity of drugs then thrombosis and also the tamponade of the heart that's it wish you good luck on the exams